pays 25%, the insurance company pays 75%. When the combined effort reaches $2,930 during the coverage gap, but the true donut hole starts at your out-of-pocket expense, your true out-of-pocket cost, which is between seven and eight hundred dollars. So when a beneficiary pays co-pays of between seven and eight hundred dollars is when they fall into the donut hole coverage gap, and they pay a hundred percent until they reach forty-seven hundred. I can go into more about an annual election period, which is starting October 15th to December 7th, 54 days for individuals to decide what a new plan is. I can talk about an SCP, special election period, which allows people to change plans because a lot of individuals are working past 65 and all of a sudden losing their credible coverage, and now they want to get Medicare, so they're allowed for an SCP anytime during the course of the year. I can talk about individuals moving in who also will have an SCP because that plan from out of state here is not transferable. I can talk about the initial election period that allows individuals who are turning 65 first time to Medicare and new what the rules are for them, but I don't have enough time. But are there any questions that anyone would like to ask? I'm going to take up your time. Congratulations on being on It's a Great Day for Business Atlanta, Lewis. Thank you. I'm how happy you, to be here. Great. I feel great. You feel great this morning. Great Fantastic. crowd here. It looks good. Yeah. Looks good. Tell yes. us how you heard about It's a Great Day for Business Atlanta. How did I hear about it? Well, you know, a friend of mine who I, who I formed a great friendship with, Randall Phillips, uh, came up with this idea, and we've decided to come together and form this unique concept, and it's just been fabulous ever since. It's been great. It has been great. Because it's a great day for business That's Atlanta. Right. All right. So uh, where are you from, Lewis? I'm from New York. I knew I'm that. I'd asked you that question yes. before. New York City. That's uh, New Amsterdam used to be called. Did you know that? Yeah, I, I did. Peter yes. Sy Stuyvesant, I believe. Exactly. Uh, well yeah, done. Named yeah. the damned fag after him. Cigarettes, sorry. Cigarettes. Sorry. That's right. Um, Tell us about your business in 30 seconds or less, please. We're trying to keep this entertaining, okay? So you'll continue to watch. I'm a life and health insurance expert. Um, and what I deal with are individuals and small groups dealing with uh, insurance issues such as life insurance, health insurance, long-term care, disability, uh, group coverages and individual coverages, and I'm also a Medicare specialist. Fantastic. Lewis, would you please share with uh, the audience your website address? Go to lewisagudo.com. All right, lewisagudo.com. Do you have a YouTube account? Ah, uh, just go and search for Louis Agudo, and you're going to be amazed at the wealth of information that you're going to get. Outstanding. So yeah. you you're into marketing. I mean, you know how to market oh, yourself. I, 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 well, yes? I think I know how to market. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, we're happy that you're here on this video, helping other people learn the benefits of marketing this way. Tracy has a question for you. Just wondering, Lewis, how many people have you told about it's a great day for business Atlanta? I think I'm up to about 759. Wow, fantastic. Yeah. Let's give them a round of applause for that. <laughs> Mr. Agudo knows how to market, right? Thank you. Absolutely. Um, one more quick quick question. What would you say is your favorite uh, book or um, uh, pers personal development book or business book that has really helped you in developing your business? Wow, you know, I just, I don't think I can just choose one because all the great books out there have little bits of information that, that just resonate with me. And, and it's just not one. I, I recommend to people, just don't stop at one, but to, to grasp what's out there and, and just absorb everything you can because you will find information that you didn't know existed. If you just rely on one source, you're just going to only have one way of thinking. And that's not the way I like to think. I like to expand my mind and read all different avenues and venues. So now that I've made you a internet superstar. Thank you. Uh, how do you intend to promote uh, this particular venue and, and through YouTube? And, and oh, I tell people all the time uh, what, how they should be promoting their video. And one way to do it is that you're going to get a, uni a unique URL code. And when you get that code, you can put it on LinkedIn. You can put it on Facebook. You can send it out in an email blast. You can let your people know what you're doing, your clientele. And it's important you do that. Also on LinkedIn, a valuable uh, uh, asset in LinkedIn is belonging to groups. Just don't post it to your page, per se, because only the people you're in contact with 
will see it. Also post it into the specific groups you're a member of. And it's just going to broaden your exposure. And that's the important part. People don't know what you're doing and people don't see what you're doing. People don't know who you are and you're just going to be getting the same results. Speaking of which, remind everyone how to quickly contact you one more time. Lewis.agudo at gmail.com is the best way or just go to It's a Great Day for Business Atlanta and email me. Well, Lewis, thank you so much for joining us on It's a Great Day for Business Atlanta. Thank you for having me.